welcome to day 19. Um, I am sitting in my truck parked at a drive-thru. <gasps> Not food, no. Um, I need to pick up my prescription. And it's really funny actually because I have always been very anti-drive-thru. I think that they're perfect for old people and for people that are handicapped or have done damage to themselves and it's hard for them to walk to the back of the store or for people with sick kids. And that's it. You, me, and the rest of the world that has two legs that work just fine should get their out of their car and go walk into the store and walk to the back and get their prescription. It's really and truly how I feel about it. And the only reason that I'm going through the drive through at the moment is, well, it's kind of twofold actually. The primary reason I'm going through the drive through is because when you go into the store, there's just too much going on. And I'm tempted to look at this and look at that and see what's on sale and um, I, I have the time. It's not like I would be late for work, but uh, I would probably buy something I don't need. And that's just not not necessary. I don't need to buy something that I don't need. And this way I don't have to have any willpower whatsoever. It's just built in. I can't buy something from in the store if I'm not in the store. So I'm not in the store, therefore I'm not going to end up buying anything. So I guess maybe that's an application for using the drive through that I had never really thought of before. Maybe be a little more open-minded about that. Um, I just think that the drive through takes a lot of time and attention away from the tasks that are needing to be accomplished within the pharmacy. Um, that's just not my thing. But here I am, in the drive through using the drive through Oh, I think it's my turn. Okay, I'll get back to you guys in a minute. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the drive through because it's too much to me like going through fast food and ordering french fries or something. I get that it's convenient and all to go through the drive through but at the same time it to me it kind of makes it seem like medicine is as unimportant as whether you order a Big Mac or, or chicken nuggets or whatever and your medicine should be taken very seriously um, in terms of making sure that you take are taking it correctly and you take it just as it's prescribed and all that kind of stuff it's it maybe people don't see it as seriously because they don't see people die from taking overdoses or accidental overdoses um, like you see in the hospital all the time I'm going to turn now and I'm gonna to have to talk to you later because my face is gonna be in the sunlight and it's very bright so anyways I will talk to you guys again in a little bit alrighty guys so I have with me to eat tonight a salad which has um, spinach and cabbage and carrots and cucumbers and rice and um, raisins I'm super excited it's gonna be awesome. I didn't have a salad last night, which is just practically unheard of. So, very excited for that. And I have the other half of my um, zucchini rice. What's that called? Zucchini herb casserole? Eh, zucchini rice, veggie rice thing that I made the other day. Um, so, going to finish that tonight. And then my husband um, chopped up a Korean melon for me. So, I have those three things with me to eat tonight. I'm very excited by that. I know it sounds maybe kind of boring to some guy, some people, because it's repetitive. Um, but I do have to say, I, I really do agree with this, and I think that I do tend to fall into this trap quite a bit. I honestly believe that, how does it go? Variety is the, I don't remember how it goes, guys. There's some kind of a saying that variety is the spice of uh, obesity or, I don't know, something along those lines. But the main point of the whole saying is that the more variety we eat in our diet, the more different flavors we get in our diet, the more likely we are to overeat. So something like the potato diet, where literally your main source of food and nutrition comes from a potato, there's only so many things you could do with a potato. You're allowed to have a small amount of condiments um, and you're allowed to have any of the vegetables that you want. But that being said, it's to me, it's more restrictive than the rice diet by far, but I also don't really love potatoes either. So I mean, that's kind of my opinion, but um, you really just, that's what you have. You have mainly potatoes. The whole point of a diet that doesn't have a whole lot of variety is to make it so that it's boring. Honestly, that's really and truly what it's about. The more boring your diet, the less likely you are to overeat. Um, and so 
I like I have just books and books and books in my kitchen full of recipes and recipes that I've written down and printed out and things that I just I love to cook I love making different flavors of things and that's probably part of the reason that I fall into the same trap of okay so how can I make this and make it taste a little bit different how can I make this make it taste uh, Mexican flavored or make it taste uh, Italian flavored or what can I do with this vegetable to make it taste different rather than just eating the vegetable there's nothing wrong with just eating the vegetable yeah so I definitely fall, find myself falling into the trap of oh this recipe looks really awesome let's try this I haven't had it this way before let's try this and if I was to just keep my food plain and simple and not um, not put too many different flavors on and not try to spice it up not try to change it up all the time it I would eat less you just you just do if it's boring you don't eat as much here, let's put you up here if it's boring you don't eat as much um, so there's one particular diet plan it is very much just a diet plan you only do it for a short amount of time it's called Mary's mini I don't know if you guys are familiar with John and Mary McDougall um, he's like the starch king but um, he's they have a I can't remember if it's a three-day or a ten-day program to be honest with you but basically you pick a starch whatever potato or bean or rice you pick a starch most people apparently don't pick beans because people can't eat beans three times a day for seven to ten days I guess I might be able to I don't know I like refried beans I like mashed up beans I like I like beans anyway um, so you pick a starch and then you um, eat as much of your vegetables with it as you want to and your main meal is your starch and so it's meant to be boring it's meant to be repetitive it's meant to be not exciting so that you get to the point where you're just like Mm, I eat when I'm really and truly hungry and I stop when I'm full because my food's not that exciting I'm not really sure that I'm at that point where I could actually say that I would enjoy that because I I do like variety in food and like I said variety is the uh, spice of obesity maybe is how they say it However, whatever that saying is I don't know you guys can put it in the, the comments below if you can figure out what it is but there's a pretty common saying in the plant-based world about about variety and that's part of the problem with life but anyway so I'm on day 19 which is awesome and um, I don't know I'm not feeling uh, particularly like I'm losing any weight that's for sure but I didn't I didn't lose anything the last week and then the week before um, it didn't seem like I'd lost anything either when I lost a pound and a half so I don't know we'll see but um, I don't think there's anything else new to tell you guys about so I'm gonna let you go for now and I'll get back to you again later Bye. well good morning guys I just got home I actually left work earlier than normal hence the light that is shining on me right now because it's too dark out for you guys to see me very well they've asked us to uh, flex off a few hours here and there if we can simply because they're over hours by our department so I left an hour early seeing as there was another uh, pharmacist there that could take care of of the pharmacy and so I left early so I've got some plans and some things I need to do what I really should probably do is go immediately to bed and then um, get up there's a car coming they're gonna think I'm insane talking to my phone um, what I should do is probably go to bed and then get up in the afternoon and take care of the few things that I need to take care of um, including doing uh, my laundry and um, I just need to do a little laundry and then also I would like to make some fried rice today so I don't really decide if I'm gonna do that this morning which I would prefer to do but then it messes with my sleep um, or trust myself that I'll get up this afternoon knowing that I have to get up in order to do something I don't know I'm probably gonna to go to bed right away that that seems like the smartest thing to do so I'm gonna go do that I'm just gonna go home well I'm home already I'm just gonna go inside and go to bed and then I'll be able to um, hopefully be able to get up this afternoon and take care of making some fried rice and I'll make a video on the fried rice for you guys I've got a couple different ingredients I'm going to put in there um, that you might not have uh, thought to put in there or used before I might not have used before <laughs> so we'll see how that goes anywho so take care have a great day uh, coming up on three weeks now so we'll get to do a weigh-in in a few days that's kind of exciting I guess maybe maybe anyway I'm going to sign off for now and I will see you guys on day 20.